it's time to calculate the gross margin on the basis of the unit costs and the prices. So in sheet gross margin, you will see that we first start by calculating something which we called unit gross margin. And we obviously do it by channel, so own e-commerce and then retail chains. Then on the basis of that, we calculate the total gross margin we have generated. And we also show the percentage gross margin. So this is the total gross margin divided by the revenues from a specific channel. Now let's go into details. So when it comes to how we calculate unit gross margin, we simply look at the average price that we have from sales sheet. So you can see here the address. And then the total unit cost we've got from the previous calculations of fixed and variable unit cost that we add up and we, in this way we create the total unit cost. Obviously, the total unit cost is the same for both channels. So when we look at the retail chains, you will see that we've got exactly the same total unit cost as we've got for the own e-commerce. So the difference in the gross margin comes from the price. Since the price in uh, own e-commerce is higher, then we have a much higher unit gross margin. So it's 38 versus 8 for the retail chains. Now, the total gross margin is simply a calculation of two things. So the quantity sold, again from sales sheet, as you can see here in the address, and then the unit gross margin that we have just calculated. So for the own e-commerce, we take it from the row 12, and then for retail chains, we're going to be taking it from row 15. So row 15 is the basis for what we've got in row 25. So we simply multiply the quantity versus the unit gross margin, and in this way, we get the gross margin. And as you can see, although the own e-commerce has a much higher, so it's almost five times higher uh, unit cross margin than the retail chains, then the difference is actually not that big when it comes to the cross margin because the majority of products are being sent to retail chains. And now finally, we calculate the percentage gross margin. So this is simply the division of cross margin. We have just calculated in row 20 for the own e-commerce and in row 23 for the retail chains. And uh, we divide it by the sales of our channels that we've got from sales sheet. So in the case of the own e-commerce, we've got 48% in January and in retail chains, it will be 18% in January. Obviously, it varies across the period because we have a difference in the total unit production costs. So when we have high fixed costs and the volume is high of production and sales, then the gross margin is going up. So this is what happens in April when we have a high season in October and then in November. So that's in short. As a next step, we want to get to the next margin. However, in order to do that, we have to calculate the cost of sales and cost of marketing. This is what we're going to try to do in the next lectures.